Hey sports fans, we're back and today we're here to take a look at the eldest son of future first ballot Hall of Famer Drew Brees, Balin Brees, to see if young Balin has a chance to eclipse his father's playing career. Drew, who was the son of athletes as his mother lettered in three sports in high school with a father who played in college basketball, was a three-sport athlete himself growing up. Motivated by his parents' achievements in sports and not to mention an uncle that played college football, young Drew knew from a very young age that he wanted to play sports for a living if his talent allowed him to do so. As we know, his talent took him all the way to Canton, and just like his parents inspired him to play sports, Drew has inspired young Balin, who has been there for just about every step of his father's storied career. Does young Balin have the same desire and skill set to be a pro athlete just like young Drew did a generation prior? Does Balin Breeze even like football? Stay tuned and let's find out. But first, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our content. All done? All right, let's rock. Who is Balin Breeze? The 12-year-old son of Drew Brees has been attending his dad's football game since he was just three weeks old when he went to his dad's first Pro Bowl and has been pretty much there for every step of the way of his dad's career over the last 12 years. Although Balin was too young to remember the Pro Bowl or his dad's Super Bowl win, Drew has taken his son just about everywhere his football journey has taken him, and Balin has spent literally his whole life being exposed to the sport. Whether it's playing flag football like we saw back in 2019 with Balin playing wide receiver with Drew Brees after a game, or if it's Balin playing catch with Tom Brady after a game, it's clear that Balin loves the sport. From watching clips of Balin, it's also clear that he's pretty athletic. Although he loves playing quarterback, it may be wide receiver that he's best at at this point in his life. He's actually a pretty good receiver for his age, flashing some quicks and some cuts and some pretty good hands. As one of the league's leading signal callers of his storied career, Drew Brees was one of the best quarterbacks to ever toss a pigskin. When it comes to athleticism, the elder Brees was also pretty athletic for a quarterback, but he wouldn't be considered a mobile quarterback in today's football like a Josh Allen or Russell Wilson. But his son may be a little bit more athletic than Drew when he was Balin's age. Drew has taken note of his son's athleticism and also his love for playing wide receiver, which he says is the real deal. Drew posted a picture of Balin wearing the number two with a chain around his neck and some wide receiver gloves, looking like he just gave the other 12-year-olds work out there on the football field. In the caption, Drew tagged Minnesota Vikings superstar wideout Justin Jefferson and let Justin know that Balin looks up to him. The league Balin was playing in was a no-contact football youth co-ed flag football league which was created by Drew as a way to pass on what he and his fellow NFL friend and stars know which gives aspiring players like Balin a chance to learn from the best. Drew and Balin are said to play a lot of football together, and what better way to work on your skills as a wide receiver than having your Hall of Fame dad tossing you passes? This is the case for young Balin Breeze, and although Balin likes to play quarterback and play catch with his father, if he had to choose today, he'd be an NFL wide receiver instead of following in his dad's footsteps. We've seen it before with sons of NFL players opting for a different position. Christian McCaffrey choosing running back instead of wide receiver like his father, DK Metcalf playing wide receiver while his father played guard, and Jamal Adams choosing safety over his dad's position of running back. Balin may be choosing a different position, and it may not be such a bad thing as DK Metcalf, Christian McCaffrey, and Jamal Adams all have found big success stepping out of their father's shadows and into their own position. Not playing quarterback or playing to Balin's favor as the pressure to succeed might be there, given that he is a breeze, but the pressure to be a Hall of Fame quarterback won't be. While Drew's other sons have taken a liking to a different sport altogether and look to be choosing basketball, Balin has showed interest in the sport, but it can't touch his love for football. Balin got to show his love for the sport while tagging around with his dad to the 2020 Pro Bowl and was seen filming the other players and asking them questions and getting to interact with some of his favorite NFL players, not named Drew Brees. Balin had a great time with the NFL stars, which further sealed his love for the game. Balin's love for football goes so deep that the young athlete in training even helps design custom shoes for some of the athletes, and by the looks of some of Balin's designs, they're not bad. It remains to be seen what Balin can do, but by all accounts, he is all in on football and firmly invested in becoming an NFL wide receiver someday. Balin is said to have a host of NFL mentors, which now includes Vikings Justin Jefferson thanks to the help of his dad's NFL connections. Not bad to have a dad that can put you in the same room as a rookie receiver that just set an NFL record for rookie receiving yards. Let's see if one day Balin himself will be a star rookie able to tell the story about how way back when Justin Jefferson helped him along his path to NFL greatness. Alright sports fans, that's it for our time on Balin Breeze and his chances of passing up his dad's Hall of Fame career one day. While it's tough to project just how good a teenager will be as a professional athlete, we can say this. Balin does have talent and isn't just the son of Drew Brees, but being Drew Brees' son is more reason for him to stay on his football path and be exposed to some of the best coaches and trainers that being the son of NFL royalty could buy. We'd bet on Balin sticking with the sport and having some of his own NFL success. Maybe if it doesn't work out as wide receiver, some of Balin's kicks will get him in the NFL spotlight. Let us know what you thought about the video by dropping a comment below, and as always, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, do me a favor and click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our content and more videos just like this.
Until next time, sports fans.